Hello YouTube, Texan Custom Cutlery here. I just want to share with you guys a quick uh, cheater's way to a Neo 5160. Right now a buddy of mine is giving me some spring steel, or leaf spring rather, that I've made a few knives out of. This is the Japanese style boning knife I'm working on right now, the Honosuke. Something of that sort. In any event, it, <laughs> if you've ever worked with 5160 or just a hypoeutectoid steel, you know that after you're in and out of the forge a few times, um, just trying to normalize the steel really doesn't get it soft enough to drill through easily. I burnt up a few bits on this. Uh, so I've been able to find some, some information in writing about uh, kind of a cheater's way to anneal this 5160, but I wanted to share it with you because I haven't really seen a video. Uh, that is, I haven't seen a video that's specifically about it. There are a lot of 30, 40 minute videos that I'm just not willing to watch to get to the information that may or may not be in there. So I want to show you guys this stuff real quick. Um, I'm using a propane forge here. I, it really doesn't matter if you use propane or, or coal or whatever you know, kind of fire you're going to be using. The more important thing is being able to monitor your temperature. So I have this temperature gauge here that will monitor from, uh, let's see, negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit to 200 or 2,102 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it's relatively accurate and it's really important that you know your heat ranges while you're trying to do this trick. So I've already done two cycles on this before I decided to go ahead and, and film this. What I've done is taken it up to roughly 1600 degrees and again I'm just putting about the handle portion into my forge. That's what I'm trying to soften up so I can drill through it. Taking it up to about 1600 degrees, pulled it out of the forge and then I just hold it with my tongs here and wave it around in the air, let it air cool down to 800 degrees. Um, there seems to be a, a window where you can quench this in water. You don't want to quench this in water above 800 degrees. You'll risk cracking the steel, which I've done a few times with a couple of different blades. I'm not sure if you can see the cracks that are appearing on, on this guy here. Let's see if I can get this to focus for me. Yeah, there's some cracks in this guy down along the spine from, from putting this in the water too quickly. I really should have just used my thermometer on that one, but I'm an idiot. So, in any event, between 800, you want to get this below 800 degrees before you dunk it in water, but you need it to be above 500 degrees. If it's, I really don't know what it is about the steel, but there's something about quenching it below 500 degrees. It really just does nothing for you. So between 800 and 500, throw it in the water. I'm going to go ahead and take this guy, stuff it in the forge one more time. Like I said, I've already done one heat up to 1600, down to 800, uh, down to about 750 actually, dunked it in the water. Then I've taken it to another uh, forge heat up to 1300 degrees, down to 800, 750, dunked it in the water. And I'm going to go ahead and do uh, two 1250 degree heats, same process, up to 1250, air cool it down to 800, below 800, 750 or so, dunk it in the water. I'm going to do that twice.